The very first time I saw a tiger was in a stinking urine soaked uh, cage in a circus. I could stand three feet away from this animal which was lying and just kind of looking at me. It stank like hell because it was in this little cage. And that was the first tiger I ever saw. We are right now located in the Western Ghats, one of the most spectacular wildlife rich biodiversity areas uh, in the world. This strip of mountains in southwestern India has the largest tiger population in the world, the largest Asian elephant population in the world, and incredible amount of other biodiversity, birds, plants, animals. This is the place I grew up in. It's just an incredible place. I have been working here for the past 25 years, studying tigers, their prey, and their ecology. Tigers are now found only in 7% of their former range. From this perspective, Western Ghats are one of the last strongholds of the tiger. This is where the tigers will probably live forever. The Indian government had, in the late 60s, officials had developed a technique called the Pugmark census, which involved uh, tracing uh, tracks of tigers and trying to recognized each track uniquely and doing a total count. Uh, I tested this in the field and in zoos, it didn't work. So I was very critical of it and they were one, very unhappy with my criticism of the Pugmark census. But I also said I need to develop something that's better. Criticizing a bad method is okay, but how about coming up with a good one? The first step was actually putting the camera traps out and getting pictures. These automated cameras are tripped by tigers themselves. And we get these dramatic pictures of tigers. We can identify each individual from its stripes. I camera trap about 8,000 square kilometers of high tiger density areas. This is done year after year. And as a result, we have data on more than 750 tigers that have ever lived in this landscape in the last decade or so. You treat your photographs as samples from a population and using some uh, statistical modeling. You can not just say, I got 10 tigers. You can say, I got 50% of the tigers that are out there. So suddenly you had a method that could tell you how many you had missed. Camera trapping allows us to very accurately monitor tiger populations, find out how many there are, how their numbers are changing, how many survive from year to year, and how many new, new tigers are entering the population. This is really critical to know whether your efforts to save them are succeeding or failing. This, this is an audit, it's an ecological audit. The number of tigers indicates how many prey animals there are approximately, and the prey in turn indicate that the habitat is doing well or not. So by counting tigers, we are getting a complete picture of the health of the ecosystem. We don't think of tigers as just saving tigers. It's about saving very large landscapes which have other species besides the tiger because the future generations have to see tigers. My granddaughter has to see a wild tiger sometime. So tiger conservation is about all this, not just saving one animal in a cage. <laughs>